geo or male with history of fever and progressive weakness of all four limbs. Sagittal and natural T2, T2 as well as post-contrast T1-weighted images of cervical thoracic spine shows large epidural abscess causing core compression. We can see all this stradural epidural involvement here and the cord, cord compression by this. Accuracy of the MRI finding CNS tuberculosis, making the diagnosis of intracranial tuberculoma is essential for rapid treatment. The, the target sign of tuberculosis refers to the bullseye appearance of the sound parenchyma tuberculomas involved in the brain. Patients can present single or multiple lesions with size ranging from one millimeter to eight centimeters. Infratentoria tuberculomas are more common in children than adults. The characteristics of the tuberculoma are variable. non casein lesions are generally hyperintense on T1 and T2 images. Casein lesions with a solid center are iso to hyperintense in T1 and T2 while those with liquefied centers are hyperintense in T1 and hyperintense in T2-weighted MRI, but both demonstrate ring enhancement. A common imaging trial includes abnormal meningeal enhancement predominantly in the basal region of the brain and its associated complicated Complication of hydrocephalus and infarct. This triad is specific for the diagnosis of TB meningitis. We can see here uh, uh, diffusion weighted imaging is useful to identify infection process. However, tuberculoma with liquid necrosis will show diffusion restriction while those with solid lesions do not. MR spectroscopy can identify a spe a specific lipids. Then we can see here, the MRI images of TNS tuberculosis simulating other pathologies. Is, uh, the cases that I can show in this moment uh, are very similar and difficult to differentiate. This is a 29-year-old male with cryptococcosis and HIV versus a 23-year-old male with tuberculosis, leptomeningitis, and cerebritis. This is a 28-year-old female with miliary tuberculoma versus a 54-year-old female with neurocystic sarcosis. They are very similar, the images. And this is a 28-year-old male with tuberculoma versus a 26-year-old female HIV positive with toxoplasmosis. 41-year-old male with glioblastoma uh, versus a 28-year-old female with tuberculosis abscess. The perfusion sequences can help to differentiate between them. Thank you very much for your attention.